Hi, welcome to another video. So, Windsurf has recently revised their pricing, and I wanted to talk about the pricing changes and compare a few benefits that you might have between the choice of Cursor and Windsurf. Just for some context, previously, Windsurf had a whole system of flow credits and action or prompt credits. Flow credits were basically for the MCP tool runs and stuff like that. You used to get about 1,000 of those and about 500 action credits, if I'm not wrong. And since the tools like File Edit and Create are run multiple times, these actions were gone very swiftly. But now, they have removed that, and in a similar way to cursor pricing, they have just kept the prompt stuff, which is actually really cool. It now gives you about 500 prompt credits, which is basically the prompts that you send, and you'll only be charged for the prompts you send, which is good. You can purchase these add-on credits for $10 per 250 credits, and you already get the app deploys and preview features and the autocomplete and stuff like that. Comparing this to Cursor, you get about 500 fast premium requests per month and unlimited slow premium requests. This might be good, but the slow ones after 500 are pretty much unusable. Another thing that Cursor is nowadays doing is usage-based pricing. And this is interesting because their models have become notorious for being truncated or watered down. That means cutting down context length and whatnot. And that's why they have started to do this thing of giving max models, which use usage-based pricing. Meaning, one prompt will cost you something apart from the plan that you have already paid for. And it's technically the same model that you should have got in the main plan. But it isn't. Actually, the same thing applies to Windsurf as well as the models are not always the model that they say you get. Like, the apply edits is done by some other model or stuff like that. This is what the majority of companies do, and I can actually make a whole video on how these companies are selling watered-down models claiming to be original. Anyway, in this scenario, what do I prefer? Well, it's windsurf because of multiple reasons. So, the agentic system was something that they have actually nailed down. Like, their cascade agent is basically awesome. It writes really good code. The steps it takes are pretty awesome. And since it was built from scratch with the agentic features, it shows in the stuff. The agentic feature of Cursor feels more like a ripoff of Windsurf, as it was made right after Windsurf launched and is majorly similar to Windsurf. It's to the point that they apparently even yoinked the Windsurf system prompt. But anyway, I do prefer the agentic stuff of Windsurf. But now, there's some more stuff that I like Windsurf for. So, the preview feature is one more thing that I like. Preview is actually amazing. It basically just allows you to preview the application that you create within the editor itself. Which means that you can just ask it to do something and then you can just see the stuff accordingly. I really like this feature because it basically converts Windsurf into something like Bolt or V0, which is kind of cool and really useful because you can also select any element on the page and then ask Cascade to edit it and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Another thing that is pretty awesome is the deploy feature as well. So, Deploy basically just deploys the whole thing on Netlify with a preview URL and makes it possible to share the apps that you create easily without messing around with the stuff yourself. So, there's that. These features are not yet available on Cursor, which really makes it a bit too outdated by current standards. Another thing that is subjective, but I like about Windsurf, is its aesthetic. It looks much more friendly and better to me to use rather than something else. Also, remember that the performance will be degraded in both when you compare it to something like Klein with the full-blown model API and not watered-down models like here. 
I'm just comparing cursor and windsurf, and I don't prefer anyone over the open source options. Anyway, another thing that I like about windsurf is the amazingly superior autocomplete. So, their autocomplete is global. Basically, the autocomplete model always has the context of what you are trying to do by gaining the context from what you have chatted about. And that makes the autocomplete suggestions super customized. It almost feels like magic at times, as it's really good. So, this is kind of cool. Now, I do think that the decision is in your hands about what you like better. I think Windsurf is better, and $5 cheaper as well, and has a ton of features that Cursor doesn't have. Also, Windsurf is compatible with JetBrains as well, if you switch between the work editor and home editor. So, it should be great as well. Another thing is that Windsurf's updates are very regular. It is almost updated weekly or bi-weekly and actually gets some new innovative features, which is something that I also like. Although, many people still prefer Cursor, and one thing that Cursor has is that you can set your own API keys, which can be good for some people. Though, if you want to do that, then just use Klein or something. I thought to share my thoughts on the new pricing about Windsurf and what new things it brings to the table. I think that they have simplified the pricing a lot, and to be honest, it is worth the price for sure. It seems that they will probably be getting acquired by OpenAI as well, and that's why they would have made such changes. So, that more users come on their platform, hence getting more valuation and stuff like that. I'll still recommend using Klein with Gemini 2.5 Pro or something for the best generations and stuff, as most of the models in Cursor and Windsurf are very ambiguous and not as good. But since many people use these to save a bit more money, then this works kind of well. You can go ahead and use that as much as you want, and then use that accordingly. Both of them have their own ups and downs, and I have used Windsurf extensively, and I haven't used Cursor as much. So, it depends on what you like, and you can use both of their trials to give both a try, and then decide it for yourself accordingly. Let me know what you guys are using, and what you guys think is working better for your use cases, and stuff like that. Please subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!